the M18 Hellcat tank destroyer. When it absolutely has to be destroyed overnight, that's the bad boy you call. 1944, M18 GMC tank destroyer. Weight, 20 tons. Speed, 60 miles an hour. Main gun, 76 millimeter. The Hellcat came on the scene in December of 1944 during the Battle of the Bulls. And this little cat gave the German Panzers plenty of hell. Now, some of you might be thinking, Gunny, this just looks like a tank. Well, let me enlighten you. Army doctrine states, a tank is designed to advance and attack in support of infantry. The M18 Hellcat was designed with a different mission in mind, to kill tanks. You got that? What they would do is they'd move really rapidly, faster than the Germans could track uh, the, the tank destroyers with their turrets, because all the German tanks and tank destroyers had manually cranked turret drives. They may look like kittens alongside a tiger, but the Hellcats could outrun the enemy any day of the week in World War II. They became masters at stalking the lumbering tigers, speeding up behind them, and getting shots into the tiger's weakest armor, right up the old patootie. The Hellcat was only lightly armored, with one-inch thick plating at the front, but the plating was angled at 45 degrees which helped deflect the impact of enemy rounds and increase its effectiveness. Now let's check out the gun, buddy. The steel plating on that car is just like the armor on the rear of a tiger. We're aiming at the enemy's most vulnerable point. OK. All right, boys. I've had just about enough of that car. Lock and load. You can see how this 76 millimeter gun helped our boys push the Germans back across the Rhine, where they belong. Ah, uh, yes. Aha. Did we learn our lesson, you stupid car? Yeah, finally did, aren't we? Oh, ho, ho. Dan, old buddy, I think we are victorious. Look what you did to this car. It's dead. The whole right side of the engine is gone. Oh, my goodness. Now, who would have thought in just nine short years our military went from the 37 millimeter to the badass 57 millimeter to the high speed death machine that is the 76 millimeter Hellcat? Absolutely total destruction. That's why America won the war, Dan. That's it. Bigger and better guns.